Welcome back to Chris Builds. This is episode two of making this triple clamp out of aluminum on the milling machine. In the last episode, we got all of our lines scribed on it with die cam and squared up the block on the mill. In this episode, we're gonna bore these most critical holes into the aluminum block. I gotta get this right within fractions of a millimeter or it won't fit on the bike. I'm pretty excited to see how it goes, so let's get started. I think the rough plan of attack is to put it on the mill and find the top of the part here and the center left to right. So once I have that, I can then set my origin to uh, the steering stem here, drill this hole, and then drill this hole, this hole, use my boring bar to get them perfect. The other challenge is this shape is pretty irregular. Uh, and I can go back to my, my prototype here. Um, I don't have end mills that are exactly this radius. Uh, I have something that's close, and I think I can use the uh, radius function on the DRO to get it accurate. And then this is a, a quarter inch radius uh, diameter here, so I think I can get these correct. Uh, fortunately, I think if I just take my time and I have the actual uh, M unit itself, if I just take my time and fit it and work slowly, I think I can get it right. Okay, I got the boring bar set up for boring the steering stem. All right, here goes nothing. We're either gonna have a finely machined hole for the steering stem or 10 pounds of aluminum scrap. I got the right hole accurate to within a half thou. Pretty happy with it. Surface finish came out pretty good. Took a long time because I was definitely battling chatter the entire time. Uh, this machine is not very rigid. I think that's part of the problem. And I also think part of the problem is uh, when this boring head gets uh, slid out a little too far, I really get a lot of chatter and it doesn't really hold a lot of rigidity there. So I had to go really slow, but we got there.
I think that's going to be it for part two on this triple clamp. I've got all the features that are on the X and Y plane machined and they're looking really nice. I test fit it on the bike and it goes on there pretty well. The, uh, the M unit slides right in, really happy with that. I've never done something like that before. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Also, these holes are the largest holes I've ever put in a piece of metal. Um, they fit, so really happy with that. So that's part two. Coming up next comes what I think is gonna be the hard part. I'm gonna set it on the rotary table and work on the features that aren't at 90 degrees to the milling vise, and also all these beautiful radiuses that go around the fork tubes. That's what's next. Thanks for watching.